I was having a moment this morning of indecisiveness. Should I have kind of moments? You know, those moments. Oh, by the way, greetings, salutations. Intuitive theories here, Dr. Tori Jo Hanks. It's been a little bit. But I've been riding that roller coaster of life. Of course, once again, mind you, mental health illness, right? I come out on this platform to speak about mental health illness because it needs to be talked about. And unfortunately, in today's society, it is so widely talked about that it's popular now to have an issue. Why do people make up mental health illness issues to become part of the fad when those that really do have mental health issues are so ashamed that we can't talk about them? That doesn't mean any sense. Yes, I have manic depression, bipolar, PTSD, social anxiety disorder, agoraphobic tendencies. I've got a list of frickin' word salad that I am ashamed of and trying to heal and trying to fix and trying to solve so that I don't have to deal with it anymore. And there are numerous people out there that say, oh, oh, I'm this. Oh, watch me more, follow me. Follow me if you wanna heal. Follow me if you don't want to be a fad. You don't want to be the new trend. Follow me if you want to stop living in those shoulda, coulda, wouldas. A few days ago, I decided to take a jump and change something that I haven't changed in nine years. My hair. I became so enmeshed with this hairstyle of dreadlocks that it was who I was. I was at a festival years back and, and someone needed some help and a person said, oh, go talk to the dreadhead lady. She'll know what to do. And from then on, I was the dread lady. And then I decided to take most of it off. Comb out a bunch. Shave off a bunch get light, get ready for new stuff. Spring's coming. I wanna look cute, ooh. But it's been a long time, nine years since I have had actual hair. The flyaways are getting to me. The thinness is getting to me. And I was like, a couple nights ago, I was like, oh my God, what did I do? Last night, especially, what have I done? Will I still be that dreadhead lady? You know, maybe not. But I'm me. I'm me. And I'm okay with that. Even if I have issues I'm still trying to deal with. Even if I go through moments of spiral that just suck me down into oblivion. Even if my brain tries to remind me of horrible things those intrusive thoughts. I read a book way back when um, with my dad. Dad was extremely religious, Southern Baptist. Um, but I was reading a book and it was describing actually witnessing negative entities messing with us. And there was one moment in this book that caught my attention years, years later. I mean, we're talking like 10 years at least. And it was of a demon sitting on someone's back. And they had their finger in the brain of that human. Just kind of playing around in there. That's the intrusive thoughts to me. Something's trying to hold me down and show me how horrible things are compared to, I know I'm blessed. I know I'm intelligent. 
I know I'm worth more. I deserve to at least live a good life. I mean, nowadays, society is telling you, oh, you deserve way more. Oh, be entitled. No. No, I work for what I deserve. I earn what I deserve. Sometimes just by simply being me, because I don't want to have anyone feel the way I have felt. So I do my best to not let them feel that, right? Even if I feel it, even if I am reminded daily of intrusive thoughts that I am trying to heal. So what do you do when you get locked in that spiral, right? You have to fight back. You have to say, no, actually, no, I don't believe that. You're trying to show me something to stop my progress. I'm going good. Shush. And that's what I call a board meeting. A couple uh, character people that do different skits and stuff. They, they show, right, they show all the different personalities in different forms. So you can actually see, right, the hooded person and the masked person. Right? Well, I call that board meeting mentally and I can I am that see I am the CEO of my life I am the CEO of this brain up here in the heart in my body in the spirit and the energy I am in charge and so I can call a board meeting and I can say you know what mm -mm. no you need to go take a vacation you need to just sit down and shut up you're fired It's hard. And I feel like I'm screaming and yelling in my brain so many times. Like, no, uh-uh, shut up. No, uh-uh, nope. But you gotta keep on it. You gotta keep on it. You gotta keep on it. And you gotta say, you know what? No, I'm, I'm okay. Even when you don't feel okay. Even when you can't see the light at the end of that tunnel. It is there. Yes, sometimes in trauma, sometimes in pain, we have to close our eyes and just, no, no, I don't want to see it. I don't want to deal with it. I don't want to see it. And yet in healing, you have to keep peeling your eyes open and saying, you know what? I might not want to see it, but I have to see it. I have to learn from it. That's where growth comes, is learning. Expanding your mental horizon, as it will. So go sit in that uncomfortableness and realize that you can, you can smile again, even in the depths of it all. Find that one itty bitty little seed of truth that makes you feel warm and fuzzy and you can go, no, yeah, I'm good. And if you can't do it on your own, reach out. I have been told I'm highly accommodating because I want to help people not feel the way that I have felt. Mental illness is not a trend. It is not a fad. It is something we have to deal with as a human species because of all the messed up toxic stuff that nobody wants to talk about. I mean, it's rather ironic to me that when you choose to go to therapy, it is because other people in your lives deny the fact that they need it. And yet, that tick -em talk likes to make it so popular to be a little nuts, a little crazy. It's okay, it's popular. People can make money off of it now. Corporations will sponsor you. Do you see the downgrade of society? And the downfall? People are so confused because they are not taught actual facts. They are taught emotional facts. 
And because of that hypocrisy in itself, it makes me want to detach myself from society. Even though I crave connection so much, there are moments where I feel like society has exiled me. And you know what, that's okay. Because I don't want to be part of that society. As twisted and weird as that might sound. I don't want to be popular in a society that thinks it's okay to make light of severe trauma in order to get views. I've been jealous. I've been jealous of my husband's success on this platform because he does off-road recovery. But I really, I, I've come to a conclusion this morning that the reason he is so popular is because he does not make people think he entertains. He gives them adventure, excitement. I'm low on the totem pole because I make people question what they're comfortable in. So it might take a little bit, but I think I'm okay. I think that jealousy is waning because I'm realizing more and more that what I have to say, most don't want to listen. And that's okay because slowly Slowly they are awakening, slowly they are coming to realize. And you can see it everywhere. Yeah, go woke, go broke, right? It's true. Because deep down we all see the need for reason and common sense. The absurdity of the mental illness that is happening right now in our society, worldwide, is astronomical when you actually think about what's really going on. Why the need to be fake and yet saying you're woke? Why has it become a fad? I have been doing holistic metaphysical healing 20 plus years on myself, my kids, my family, my friends, and yet still to this day, I don't have clients, I don't have a place to do business can earn money. That's why I say I'm exiled from society because I have tried. I've tried going out there, tried getting work. I'm disabled because of all those word salads. So it's kind of difficult to go get a menial job that would pay some bills. Not all, some part-time, right? I have no references. <laughs> the last place I worked went out of business, so there's no one to call. Mind you, I haven't had a job in almost 15, 16 years, maybe more. But it's all right, because I still feel that pull. There's something more. Listen to that intuition. Listen to that intuition. Because I keep telling myself, oh no, I'm not gonna do any more videos. I'm not going to, why bother? Why bother, right? No one's listening. And yet, I started this because I, I said, if I can help at least one person, it'd be worth it. Well, so far, I've helped a few. So that's more than one. I've already broke my goal. Why not continue? Why not continue putting my thoughts out there so that others can realize that they are not the only ones to think those thoughts? There's a theory, long time standing, that if one person has a thought in a moment, there are at least 10 to 100 more people that have that same exact thought. We as a human species are so connected that we can be on opposite sides of the world and still have that same push. 
So this thought that I am the only one, I'm all alone, I, that is ego, right? That is ego. Because there is no way that it is humanly possible for us to be so detached that we still do not have that symbiotic nature with the rest of our species. Hive mind, if you will. Not so drastic as in like Star Trek. But <laughs> I guess what I'm getting at is if you have those shoulda, coulda, wouldas, you have that bucket list, you have that, oh, I've always wanted to do this, but uh, I don't know. You do know. Remember, I don't know is a lead in to dive deeper because you do know. Think about it a moment. Yeah, you do know. You do know that if you do this one thing, you might upset someone. Someone might become jealous of you. Someone might hold it against you. Someone might, you know what I mean? Those are thoughts. Those are fears that are based in the way our society works. <sighs> Sucks, but it's true. So let them go. Because no matter what you do, they'll still hold it against you. Because you're doing and they're not. That's where the jealousy kicks in. They're doing. You're, you know what I mean? They got to get up and do it for themselves. And then the jealousy will end because they are working on it. But if they're never gonna, then they'll continue holding it against you. So why stop yourself? Cut your hair. Change your job. Move. If, if what you are experiencing right now is not making you actually happy, and you have to pretend in any way, shape, or form. Do something about it. Listen to that gut feeling. Listen to it. Because then pretty soon when you look in the mirror, you're like, oh, not, oh. There's so many times I look in the mirror and I feel disgusted with myself. I gained weight because of my mental health salad. Right? Word salad's hard. And yet, I'm getting better. I don't stay weeks at a time. It's a few days. Fluctuation. Oh, okay, pull myself back out. Yep, mm hmm Have that board meeting. Mental health illness is not to be a trend. It is to be healed. Take it seriously. Please, for everyone's sake, take mental health seriously so that your physical and emotional health can be good as well. And don't have those shudders. As soon as that comes up, pull that board meeting and say, uh uh, nope, actually, we're going to just do it. And you jump into it. No matter the reaction from those around you. But listen to those reactions. Listen to those reactions of those around you. Because then you can pick and choose the people to continue staying in your orbit. Compared to those that need to go. They can watch you from afar. They will. They'll, they'll keep an eye on you. And they'll realize, ooh, she was right. Or he was right. Somebody else's shoulda, coulda, wouldas are not your responsibility. You got your own to think about. So what are you going to do today? What have you been putting off that you shoulda, coulda, or woulda? Just saying, take that leap, try it out. If it doesn't work, you always have your comfortability to go back to. Even if it's not healthy. Anywho, my dear friends, I hope you have a glorious day. It's raining and icky here, but a little cold. I'm here for you. If anything, you're not alone. There's at least 10 to 100 that are thinking the same way. That's a lot of people. 
many blessings, many healing obstacles and issues and all that fun jazz so that you can grow and learn. I know a horrible blessing to put on someone, but it's worth it. Till next time.